In the shadowy depths of the Cold War, one name remained a secret. Even as his creations reached the stars, the brilliant, tormented father of the Soviet space program. To the world, he was simply the chief designer. Born in 1907 in Zidomir, Ukraine, Sergei Pavlovich Korolev showed an early fascination with flight. He studied engineering and became one of the Soviet Union's brightest young minds in rocketry during the 1930s. He helped launch one of the USSR's first liquid-fueled rockets, dreaming of taking humanity beyond Earth. But in 1938, during Stalin's purges, Korolev was arrested by the NKVD. Accused of sabotage, he was beaten, tortured, and sentenced to a Siberian gulag. He nearly died there, his health shattered, his jaw broken. He was eventually pulled from the camps, not for mercy, but for his mind. The state needed engineers, and Korolev, broken but not beaten, went back to work, quietly, anonymously. By the 1950s, he was leading the USSR's top secret missile and spaceflight programs. His crowning moment came in 1957, Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth. Then, just four years later, Yuri Gagarin became the first human in space, aboard a spacecraft Korolev designed. He had done it, launched mankind into the cosmos, while still a state secret. Korolev died suddenly in 1966, his identity still classified. The Soviet Union mourned in silence. Only later did the world learn the truth. The space race wasn't won by a machine, but by a man who survived the gulag to reach the stars.